What's going on with our youth today? The lack of vision to see their dreams through. Who took this away from them? What stripped them from the relentless attitude that they can achieve anything they wish to do? What killed their aspirations to overcome whatever came their way? No one explained to them that whatever they put in themselves will eventually be forced to come out. No one explained to them the power of pressure. So they run from it instead of embracing it. No one explained to them how is it that the power inside their own souls is enough to generate more power than any nuclear plant in this world. So I explain to you what we talk about pressure busts a pipe. And as you know when you see a pipe, there's more pressure in the inside of the pipe than it is on the outside. But when there's more pressure on the outside squeezing in, that pipe bursts and what's ever in that pipe comes forth. So I say this is what's going on to our youth today. It's so much pressure around them. Pressure of drugs, pressure of gains, pressure of trying to live up to the aspirations and dreams of their own parents. That when that pressure comes upon them and squeeze their souls, then whatever they put in themselves comes forth. So what have we done? We have not guarded the gate to the ears of our children. We have not guarded the gates to the hearts and minds of our children. So we have allowed so many uncorrupted things to go in the inside of our children that when pressure comes upon them and it squeezes their souls, then the very ills that was put into them are the very things that we see come out of our children. So we wonder and we say to ourselves, that's not my child. And really, truthfully, it's not your child, but it's the inner person that you allow to live in your child. And when pressure comes upon him and pressure is known to be responsible, pressure comes in a way of standing up when you have to stand up. But if you allow the wrong things to be put inside yourself, then when pressure hits, the wrong things are going to come forward. It's a law that you cannot get around. So what do you got to do? You got to be relentless in feeding yourself the right information. You got to be relentless in feeding yourself the right understanding. You got to be relentless to know that no one would take away from your hopes and your dreams and your aspirations to be successful in this world. You cannot let it down. And if anybody get in your way, that you will mold them down before you allow someone to stop you from being successful. You have to have an attitude, an attitude to be relentless against all of the ills that want to keep you from being successful. You cannot give up because it's not an option. Because giving up means nothing but death. And you'll be a walking dead. And this society will put so much pressure on you. And if you have the wrong things in the inside, then the very things that are going to come out, it's going to be the very thing that destroys you. So feed yourself right knowledge. Feed yourself understanding. Feed yourself what you see in this world that is good. And when responsibility face you, be relentless in moving forward for what is right. And let no one take that from you.